the story map with the basic map tour, click on the content menu, select the option for create app, and pick ArcGIS story maps. This will open the basic builder window. Select the circle menu here and scroll to the bottom of the window. You'll see the option for map tour. Since we're doing a project from the beginning, we'll select the option start from scratch and you can pick any one of these layouts. I'm just going to select the map focused option for now and click done. This will give us an empty map tour with one slide at the beginning. We can click on add location to assign a marker to that particular slide. You can zoom in and out of the map and click on any spot that you would like or you can actually search for the location, an address, or a landmark by using the location bar on the top right of the application. This is very similar to a Google search, so you can put in general terms and sometimes it is able to find the marker. It'll automatically add a point to the map wherever it thinks it is the best estimate of the location. You can click Add to Map. If the marker does not show up in a location that you want it to be in, or if it's not quite in the right spot, click on the marker until it highlights and then drag it to a spot that you would like it to be in. Zoom in and out of the window until you have a view that you kind of want it to show on that particular slide. Before adding it to the map, click on the button for use the current zoom level and this will save the view that you currently have on your screen. And then click the option for add location. For each slide, you can add a new location to that slide in order to create the zoom effect. So I'll add another place for Minneapolis, Minnesota. I can zoom in or out. Sometimes if it's closer, I like to leave a little bit of area where the previous point is to just kind of create an illusion that you're traveling. Do add to map. You can click and adjust that as well. And then use current zoom level. And that is our next window. I'll just add a couple more slides. That I would recommend is that you'll notice when you get to the end of your project it will only show one location at a time it doesn't really give you a snapshot view of the entire project so one thing you could do to kind of get the snapshot view is just add a filler slide to one point of your project drag that slide to the very beginning and then when you're adding a location zoom out to the full extent of your project and then add a point right in the middle of the screen and save that current zoom. And what this will do is actually save the view of all of the points in your project. When you click add location, you'll notice that it zooms out. So now if you're scrolling through the project, you'll get that one snapshot view at the very beginning to give readers a idea of the entire view of your project. <laughs>